All right, this video will be on the installation of the Honeywell Wi-Fi Smart Thermostat, or TH9580WF. Here is the unit faceplate. Wall plate. And he's got the push tabs, the locking lines. Hardware mounting. Quick start guide. Another language. Oops. And user's guide. So we'll leave that out. Leave that out. Registration card. First things first, we will cut the power to the customer's unit, either by the breaker box over there or your cutoff switch here at the unit. This is an old 80% 80, 80 efficient unit. She needs a cleaning bad. Wow. I have to speak to them about this. All right. How they got this puppy wired in. I mean, that's a Mickey Mouse job if I've ever seen one. Right there. Mickey, Mickey Mouse, man. Huh. Well, that thing did have a blue wire. Once you got that running to the eye, we're just. It's got a blue wire coming off there. Huh. So, that being said. Going right here. Have to get down there and see something here. We gotta check what they have up here because the way they got that wired this is all. And I got new screws for this. I'm not worried about them. Stripping out like that. They were already stripped when whoever put them in. I'm just curious, that blue wire is hanging down there. What they did here. There it is. It's got a blue and a brown. The blue wire is here, the brown wire here. Probably just run all new wire for this customer here. They seem to have it all jacked up the way they have it hooked up down there. So let's go check it out again. There's no comment on that control board in that old unit. So I'm gonna make sure I'm getting 24 volts to my red. Open circuit, 27.75, all right. Okay, we gotta strip this blue wire back a little bit. Just like that. And, next thing will be mounting this plate. Um, yeah, we'll get her mounted up. Screw holes are there. Remember to cut your power, like I said, at the unit, because if you don't, you're gonna blow the fuse on the board. End up touching these thermostat wires together somehow. Some way. And I'll get my phone and level this out. Uh 
that like that. Right, I got the leveling app on my phone here. That's what I use. Snug him screws up just a little bit so it'll hold tight for you. Just about just about right on there. Point one off. We're good. All right, we can snug our snug our plate down. That's good and snug. That ain't moving. Time to connect our wires. So this had this thermostat. They have the terminal release pins. First of all, take this. I always take this off. Little sticky tab. What you do is I don't know if you can see or not. Um, you just push this tab in with a pen. Get this seated up against it, push the tab and push your wire in and lock it just like so. They're pretty easy. And sometimes they don't hold that good though, I will, I will say that. There we go. This one here I'd like to see go in a little further. There we go. And our white. Where's our white on this unit? Get our white up here to white. There we go. Try to get these done out of the way like that. All right. Uh, this old unit here, this old control board. No common as usual. So. This is just temporary, but here, let me get the camera. See, I had to tie the common wire into the common off the 24 volt side, low side of the transformer to get our constant power up to the thermostat. So let's go try it out and see if we got power. All right, let's check voltage on this blue now. Huh? No go. I'm not getting a good ground or something. There we go. Alright, we got... We had... Ah. Uh, Alright, see? There we go, got our 27. Okay, we're all connected down at the unit. Time to put our faceplate on, see if we get power now. And I'm not liking this, this connection here. There we go, we got power. Warm up, I take it. Alright, please wait. Sure, it's going to take us through the old setup English, this, that. Yep. So, tap English, it's already selected. Next, home. Location name, thermostat. Yeah, we'll leave that. Cooling heating, yes, it's both. Forced air, yes, it is. Gas oil, it's gas. Standard efficiency, less than 90%, yes it is. Single stage. W wire is connected. Yes it is, it just verified that. Done, saving changes. 
Do you want to connect this thermostat to the Wi-Fi network now? Yes. Let's see what we got. There's Joe the Marine. And uh, here, I gotta shut this off. I don't want you to see my password. All right, it says it's connecting to Joe the Marine. Your thermostat is still connected to Joe the Marine. Okay. Okay, please visit blah, 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 blah on your tablet, personal computer. So want to set up your thermostat to remove access. You will need the following information. Well, let me do that. All right, let's look here and see what we can do. My total connect. My total connect comfort. There we go. Honeywell, my total connect comfort. What are we going to do? Log in, create an account. Connect home privacy statement. Nah, 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 nah. There's something to check. Yeah, check that box. Hit accept. What's going on here? All right, I'm going to put all this information in and get back to you. Okay, did the setup. It says account a confirmation email has been sent to details of your Click on the link inside the email to complete registration process. So done there. Let me go to my email. Okay, finally got the confirmation email. So asked for a location name. I'm just going to call it home for them. Location type is a home. Notification contacts, at least one email address is required. We got that one set up. Clear your home address and all that set up. You don't need to see that. Submit. It's not asking for any of these thermostat MAC numbers. There we go. All right. So it asks for these numbers that are they're listed up here on the screen. You got to put them in. I won't put you through. Okay, enter the information. It says here registration in progress, thermostat registration successful. Oh, there we go. Thermostat popped up. It's in heat mode. Following schedule, waiting for update, blah 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 blah. And over here on the phone. We are continually improving our Honeywell products to give you the best. Your device is currently being updated with the latest version of software. Same models can take up to an hour to update. The thermostat will remain fully functional, however, remote access to this device will be unavailable during this update. That's fine. All right. Thermostat in home. 71 degrees, 53% humidity. Your device software is being updated. Okay. That's fine. So anyways, we're up and working. Let's hit home. We're on home. Fan is on automatic. Let's hit on, see if it kicks on. There we go. The fan is kicked on. So that's working. All right, let's shut, put it back to auto. Okay, <clears throat> don't run. A, don't want to run a schedule on here. So the way to eliminate, see it says following schedule. The way to eliminate that is go to your manual adjustment for your your heat up or down at this point. Then you'll see this pops up. Hold until three. But we want to switch to permanent hold. So we don't want we don't want to follow schedule. So we hit done permanent hold. Press for options. So that puts it on hold mode. Then you can adjust. Uh, all right, that's going to conclude this uh, segment. As you can see, it's permanent hold, press for options, switch to temporary hold, which will hold to whatever time you set, or switch to permanent hold, which is where I keep it, and adjust it as I need it via, via the phone, internet, or here manually. Well, I hope this helps on your installation, and remember, if you do not have the common coming off the board, go directly to the comment off the secondary side of the transformer, your low voltage side, 24 volts. Thanks for watching.